Thank you so much for watching Tomoshi the Music. Today, uh, this morning, I just taught one you know, Skype student who uh, has um, planning to go to Berkeley and audition in September. And um, let's see. Generally, right now, I don't really teach anybody in, by you know, Skype lesson, but this student particularly really want to know what to prepare and you know really nice letter so I, I accept it you know and uh and it was fun you know thanks so much for you know taking my skype lesson that was a fun too so the prepare piece he chose was um famous you know guitar players like you know steve ray vaughn or santana okay like that right i can't really play the song but and the problem is it's great song and amazing, you know, but this is a music school so that you have to really demonstrate, play over the chord changes a little bit. But also, prepare piece means you have to really prepare two, three months or more ahead of time. So you can't really play something that anybody can jam right now. Okay? So, anything like, you know, if, if the song... Anything fits like that entire not entire song but you know half of a song like that then that song not really great for uh, prepare piece. Another prepare piece if you try to jam you can't jam because you have to prepare. Like for example if you if you learn my song Kyoto then sort of goes. So idea is you have to really show some sort of a you know changing chord. So this this song has F minor and then G7 and a C minor. And of course you can play you can play pa 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 you know you can do all the way. But if you prepare maybe See, that's pentatonic, kind of tasty, after the jazzy. Yeah. Like <laughs> I was like, where I'm looking? I'm looking, I'm looking in the wrong place, right here, the audience, right? Yeah. You see, so you have to prepare some something like a little bit difficult piece by Eric Johnson or something like that, technical thing. And also, you have to understand, especially Berkeley audition, once you get there, you don't have to do, you know, three minutes and five minutes. It's like, you know, we, we schedule everything very, very comfortable. You see, we have many rooms, many teachers available, ready to do the audition once you arrive there then work study students you know take care of you just make sure you know bring you to you know uh, next available available you know um, audition uh, place right so means once you arrive audition and then when you ready to do audition 
uh, audition, audition team, we don't have restriction about how long to take each, each uh, uh, like, you know, audition. In other words, you, you, don't, you don't have to worry about the time. So basically, just relax, you know. But beginning, you want to say, I, I'm planning or I planned two songs, okay? But when you explain these things, you have to say, you know, not just two songs. You can say one song is, say, Joe Pass guitar solo, very short, and it took me a long time to learn, like that. If you say that, oh, that's great, we'd like to hear it. Instead of, I have two songs to show you, do you know what I mean? You have to make sure, say clearly what's going on. You have two songs, but one song, really short. So that's why you play two songs. I play, uh, I back then, you know, 80s, I sent a demo tape, so I have a band playing Feel Like Making Love, a really nice song, but then I have one solo guitar piece, very short, all the folks, jazz standards, play Gibson Super 400 by myself. So that way, um, it's great. Okay, next one. What to expect? After you play prepare piece, and then little conversation like, okay, so uh, what kind of music do you play? You go like, yeah, I write all original music. I love John Mayer. I like Jimi Hendrix, Steve Rayvon. You can maybe like that. Just simple, you know. And uh, I like Dave Matthew, and I like the such and such. Great. So, um, um, can you play like that? Or sometimes... This all depends, you know, teacher, okay? We have a little bit different way to do it, but I do usually, oh, okay, you play blues, okay, great. I do like this. Can you play? Right now, try. Okay. So what happened is, this phrase, chromatic, major third, five, six, one, and rhythmic. So, one, two, three. Okay, like that. Then some people don't know about a little bit more quarter tone. Some, a lot of people into minor pentatonic, major pentatonic, same shape going up and down, you know, the box position. This is more like a chord. Like... So this is a sort of style. So like, a, so the question is, you said I like so and so. Okay, can you play like that? Okay. Then the problem is usually you don't know exactly what's going on. So that's already you don't get the point, right? But also most people play like this. A lot of vibrato, unnecessary vibrato. This is showing kind of blues rock is nice, but sometimes you don't have to have a, a vibrato. Also, duration. Duration means how long to play. So, like that. No. Do you know? So that you have to work on now. Okay, next one. You say, um, okay, I like um, uh, s such and such, like, you know, singer, songwriter, vocal. Okay, can you play this one? You should know this one, major nine. If you don't know, you have to, you have to understand regular major, 
of course, regular major, but then regular major also, one, five, major third, no, no, major seven, major third, or fifth. Root, major third, major seven, nine. You have to know every note. Good job. Then I go like this. Can you play E minor major ninth? Yes, yeah, sure. Sounds like a cartoon. So what happened is minor nine, root flat three, flat seven, ninth. Then this is the flat seven you raise to major seven. Root flat three, major seven, major nine. Good job. Can you play that? A minor nine, root flat seven. Flat three, five, and nine. Okay. Can you play that? Root, flat seven, major third, flat thirteen, and root. Good job. Can you play that? Ear training, flat 13. Sus4 minor 9th, 13, flat 13, major 9. A7 flat 5, minor 9, flat 13. Then maybe if you say I like jazz, okay, can you improvise? Maybe a one, two, three, four. This is a typical phrase in jazz. Sharp 9, flat 9, flat 13, major 3rd, sharp 9, flat 9, root. So that's like a little bit Charlie Parker, Joe Pass type. So if you play this. I would say Easy to say, if you learn one phrase, you have to know four or five other positions that you need. So that was C major 7, A7 flat 13, D minor 7, minor 9, 13 to flat 13. Then I played uh, C major 7 arpeggio. And then I played D harmonic minor. Harmonic minor, that was a good one. So means harmonic minor means A mixolydian flat nine flat thirteen or A Phrygian dominant. So if you go to music school, you wanna know that scale because that's really important, you know. So that that phrase I play major third uh, fifth flat seven flat nine. See, a little bit more than um, minor pentatonic. So once you play that, placement level 3, 4 at least, you know. So level is, okay, level is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, up to 8, I believe, you know. So if you are pretty good, you know, probably around a 4, maybe you get the 1, 5, maybe. 
generally people are three and four, you know. Okay, so in order to raise this number, you have to know some sort of a yeah, like you know, those like a, you have to be able to play. This is level three. I mean, you have to play. You, if you can't play this, level two, you know, like that. I'm just making up for you because I don't really audition that much, but uh, you know, yeah. But uh, you see, that's like, um, definitely you have to know major seventh, minor seventh, dominant seventh, minor seventh flat five arpeggio from fifth string. That's like a must to know. Yeah. How how's everything so far? I'm just making up a little bit from today today's lesson, so you know st these students can enjoy this you know video. So here, um, just like you know phrasing or chords. Other than that, we ask sometimes. So. How many major scale do you know? You can go like this. All right, I can play like this. Around here, around C form, around A form. That's like a Berkeley method book almost, you know? Then around here, For example, like this one, nobody play like this. You know, myself, I don't play improvisation. It, this one either. But learning process, it's different. Learning process, more strictly play certain way, even though you don't use for the performance, but really understand. So this way, what's happening is around this area, around this area, around this area, around this area, so organize four position really good. So this way, okay, I can play C major scale. Like that. And then I can play F major scale. Here. But also, I could ask, you know, I, I, you know, audition sometimes I ask really simple. All right, can you play C Dorian scale from here? You should be able to play because theory, you have to know any Dorian scale, flat three and flat seven, right? So, flat three, flat seven. Okay. Can you play Mixolydian scale? Yeah, sure. Don't smile too much, you know? <laughs> anyway, Aerian scale. Now, Aerian scale. Can you play Aerian scale from here? Yes. Can you play harmonic minor? Yes. Can you play melodic minor? Yes. I change the fingering for you because this is major scale. Difference between major scale, hum, uh, you know, melodic minor, flat three. Natural minor, Aeolian scale is this. Flat six, flat seven, flat three. Harmonic minor is this. Flat six major. So if I play D harmonic minor, okay. Root second, flat three, four, five, flat six, major seven. So that means if you play D harmonic minor, then if you start from A.
that's like a, a famous sound, right? So that's like A Phrygian dominant, A mixolydian flat 9, flat 13, those names, like that. Oh, Latin music. Like that. So you have to understand Aeolian harmonic minor, melodic minor should be able to play from six string root from uh, anywhere. Uh, one string. You should be able to play harmonic minor. If you can play harmonic minor, you are below three. How's that sound? See, like almost like this. Three is like a, you know, uh, pretty good, but not not quite. You know, it's three four. You know what I mean? So you have to get. If you want to get scholarship, you have to go to five six that range, right? So you have to really really shed it. Study jazz. Study a little bit more and uh work on a prepare piece really great but also ear training should be able to play these scales you know one string from sixth string fifth string all right so in general i can suggest this don't use any reverb because if you use reverb you can use muting technique already you ruin you waste your time not able to mute um unwanted note so when I practice right here, music master bass amp, nice chair, nice strap, air strap, like this. Stand up, sitting down, nice posture. No, no headache, no, no backache, nothing. Okay. Just because I'm just careful, not hunchback like that, straight. Okay, guitar. Half a guitar is lifting up from my body, and then I use my arm a little bit to push a little bit, pull a little bit. So nice balance. All right. Don't use the reverb. Re reverb not important to me. <laughs> you can argue with me. Yesterday, you know, uh, today is a Thursday. Yesterday, I taught all day from, you know, 8, 8.30, 8.30 to actually 12.30. Then I started like one. I had extra students a little bit, you know, so one, one to 5.30, long time. But I, I, I brought this in 1965 Strat. Tone is so good. I mean, I just don't get tired. I even after that, I want to play more, you know. Any questions so far? Write anything below and any requests on a video. Thank you. I think that's good. So show up early. Make sure you tune up your guitar well. Having all everything ready, you know, make sure everything works. Bring a tuner and cable. And once you're in a room, just relax because you have done so much work already. So please enjoy. Of course, we get nervous in front of people playing or you know judged by somebody, but we like to help you. That's our job. We like to help you. Okay. So you have to open your arm too. Okay. So that way we communicate well, and we can work together well. See, we have to work together, not just teacher teach you something. You just work. We work together. So that's really important. I think. Um, I made some points probably and uh, thank you so much for watching Tomo Fujita Music. Make sure to subscribe this channel Tomo Fujita Music and um, please share this video with your friends so that way more people really understand what's going on around the guitar and you can enjoy more. And of course you are welcome to join my Guitar Wisdom where I teach a lot more detail than YouTube. But uh, that's it. All right. So thank you. See you soon. Bye.